No, I can't think. Are you, are you a doctor? Did the, did the United States Space Administration send you? They must have issued you a stim pack, right? I'm, oh, God. Oh, keep it together. The U.S.S.A. We send things into space. Oh, God. Please. Can you help me out? Oh, thank you. So, you're real after all, huh? That's a relief. Oh, I can feel it working, but... Oh, just... So tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. <sighs> My name is Commander Sofia Daguerre. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm the pilot of the Deep Sleep mission. Launched in 2070. Maybe you recognize me from the news? <laughs> Well, minus the head wound. Uh, my ship crashed nearby. I, I could barely walk, but somehow I made it here. I must have hit my head in the crash. Hard to remember. Thanks for your concern. I I'm still woozy, but much better. Thanks. I... I said that already, didn't I? Oh, that's a relief. Thank you. I figured the military would have arrived for the crashed ship. It's been... Uh, a while, though. I still haven't heard from my crew, either. Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. I need to find my crew. Contact the USSA. Oh, get some first aid. <sighs> One thing at a time, though. Where am I, anyway? The remnants of Appalachia? What do you mean? I, I, I remember... <sighs> Almost... Damn it. What do you mean, remnants? The mechanical engineer on the crew, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bernard, he helped me into the deep sleeper pot. He said, see you in a few years, and we waved at each other. We launched the deep sleep mission in 2070, and I entered the hibernation pod very shortly after we achieved orbit. Why do you ask? Oh. Oh no. Well, that is not the kind of question I was hoping to hear right now. I was supposed to emerge in 2075, with an optional extension to 2080, if things were going well. Are you serious? You can't be serious. Tell me you're just trying to be funny here. Please. But the, the USSA had contingencies, plans, fail-safes, backup robotic agents. Damn it. This wasn't supposed to happen. I think... I need to focus on just finding my crew. There were three others, and I just... I didn't see anybody. Or any bodies so they had to be in the ship or maybe only my emergency pod crashed I, I don't know could you go to the crash site and look for the ship's flight recorder it, it's not far 
Not far at all. I can't walk much right now, but you can almost see it from here. Almost. Take a right from the bunker. Cross the river. It's not too deep. Then... It's up the mountain a bit. I fell down the slope. Not sure how far. Follow the mountain ridge. Look for smoke. You should be able to find it easily. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. My body is still shaking, so I'm gonna just try to stay still and listen to the comms. Just in case. Super
I'm guessing nobody from the Space Administration was up there, collecting evidence and looking for survivors. Huh. It should tell me where my ship crashed, and whether anyone else survived. Maybe I can even contact the USSA with it. Or someone. Oh, that's a relief. Now, we just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard-grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. Oh, right. Uh, of course. There's... There's an emergency code. Uh, blue Sunset. I can't believe I forgot that. The escape pod's robot is a, an assaultron, I think. It's responsible for the encryption key. Last I was able to check its signal, it was returning to... Uh, a, a military base, or doing diagnostics? It's hard to tell. It's simple, really. Get to the robot and get the encryption key. I can tune its transmitter signal to your external device there. You should be able to track it down.
Warning. Do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries to director of the USSA. Access code received. Validating code. Confirming identity. Accepted. Welcome, Commander Daguerre. Transmitting encryption key as requested. Terminating transmission. This unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. Warning. Do not interfere. This unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. Commander Daguerre, USSA pilot. Come in, please. A anyone. <sighs> I had hoped I could reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? Oh, perfect. I just uh, need a console to work with so I can analyze the data. I don't suppose you know of a good electronics store, eh? Oh. It holds data related to our positions, so the rescuers can find all of us. In case something happens on re-entry. A failsafe, really. I don't know if it will work, but I don't know how else to find my crew without this, since our comms are down. Nothing, I guess. Until I can get it to a working console. I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here. But we might be able to rebuild it, uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? Y you're sure? I mean, you've already done so much for me. Maybe just for a night or two. Until I feel better. Thank you. I don't want to slow you down, though. Maybe you should take these schematics. Get that console rebuilt at your camp. I should be able to get there by the time it's built. And, hey. Thanks for your help. I bet this was not what you planned to do today, but... I'm real glad you found me. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just... why? <laughs> yeah. This place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. 
I can work with this. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more. And much more quickly. The upgrade module should extend the range of the scanner in our console here rather substantially. I can then cross-check some of the USSA data that you gathered from my ship's console, which will help isolate specific useful signals. I don't suppose you can just swing by a tech supplies store, hmm? Yeah, I didn't think so. Last I knew, these types of things were common items in military bases and compounds. But my information is admittedly out of date. I'll transfer the coordinates to a local military base, but I can't vouch for its security status. It's hard to detect anything specific right now. Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P-14B configuration for its power chamber? I mean, I know you all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. Listen, I know you've done a lot for me already. Got me out of that sunken bunker and... Let me stay here. It means a lot. Uh, no. I need a TF-85B adapter to improve the visual fidelity of the scanner, but those... Uh, those were being phased out when... When... <laughs> when I launched decades ago. So... Now I need to be the one to adapt, or else, right? <laughs> right? Uh, oh well. <laughs> anyway, no, I don't really have what I need, but I'm making do. I think I can muddle through with this. Uh, you saw my wreck, didn't you? I don't know how else to prove it to you. You know, it's equally surprising to me that you've survived all of this. It's good that wonders never cease, right? It's hard. I don't know what to say. It's more than I ever expected could happen. This wasn't even in the realm of possibilities when I launched. But... I could have been worse. I need to remember that. Copy. Over and out.
My crew is out there. I hope they found someone decent to take them in. Oh, well, you just look at this fancy thing. Not even a dent on it. Could use some soldering to fit in this old console, but... Eh, nothing I can't handle. In the meantime, I found some sort of emergency supplies crate that must have splintered off while the ship broke apart. Might just be a crate of space food. But maybe it's got some emergency contact codes for the satellites. Heck, it could even be my personal crate full of my Unstoppables comics that I foolishly brought with me to space. Hey, I thought I'd have time. Yes, but I'm not sure how accurate the data is, or if anything has scavenged it. It's hard to tell much more until I install the upgrade module. They let me take a crate of personal items. You weren't supposed to be in deep sleep the whole time, you know. <laughs> I doubt it is. They probably all burned up on re-entry, sadly. I had a full collection. Ugh. Anyway, I'm sure it's astronaut food or something else that the USSA thought I might need. Oddly, yes. I... I camped out here a few times while I was in graduate school with a good friend, uh, Emerson. Ugh, 
Those were the days. We were in the same physics program at college and hit it off. It ended up not working out for us, but we remained friends, which was good because he joined the USSA towards the end of my astronaut training. Ugh. <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> You know, it's rough. I, I can't put it any other way. <laughs> you know what I thought would happen when we landed? I thought there would be a parade. I thought maybe there would be a commemorative plaque. I sure as hell didn't think the world would have gone the way of the dodo, you know? I know this sounds odd, but uh, not much has changed for me. Not many new consoles have been invented since the, well, my time, I guess. The scanner upgrade has helped to compensate for the degradation that has occurred in the past years. I'm trying to modify it so I can use it for other stuff too. Maybe hijack the scanner so I can run a holotape game? Oof. That would be good. Oh, the headaches emerging from deep sleep are worse than they implied it would be. I don't know. I feel sudden spikes of pain at times, and it takes a while to subside. I'm dealing with it, but it's still happening. Affirmative. Out. I was wondering if you were coming back. the divine power of the Mothman. Oh, great Mothman, look upon your subjects with mercy and protect them from harm. His eyes burn like fires in the night, and no enemy will escape his sight. Now, to my final reward. <coughs> to my final reward. I go to the divine light. You should have never set foot in the world. I can 
Merci. Uh, hey, this handbook doesn't even have emergency contact information in it. I never expected to use this. Clearly. Well, we can do this by ourselves, right? <sighs> Time to test this newly upgraded scanner out. I found an old USSA beacon with a strong signal. It was activated here, after my ship launched. Which means it isn't from someone on my ship. It isn't one of my crew. The interesting thing is, this beacon should have lost power years ago, but it's still active. If you grab the beacon, I'm sure whoever is monitoring it will come looking. Let's make them find us. It has nearly full power right now. That can only mean someone is still out there replacing its power cell regularly. I'm not sure exactly, but I do know that my ship's autopilot took us here to Appalachia for a reason. Maybe this beacon was it. In the meantime, I'll cross-reference some data from the flight recorder and the scanner's readings. I need to find my crew. And I think I'm close. Remember, when you pick up the beacon, whatever you do, do not press any red buttons, do not ingest it, and do not sell it to communists. I think it helps with the side effects, but just not the major burst of pain. I, I appreciate it, though. It helps me sleep better. Before we launched, I had a lot of anxiety. Made it hard for me to sleep, so I'd listen to ocean noises. Whale singing. Always put me right out. The stim pack does help. Not a ton, but it takes the edge off at least. Thanks for asking, friend. Sure, of course. I guess this is all ancient history now, I guess. Jeez. Including me? Well, we had a crew of four. All scientists and engineers. The plan was to use the deep sleep pods and record the biological data. We wanted to know if there were medical uses, you know? We had tried it out on Earth already with volunteers, but not in space. It wasn't that complicated. Honestly, I felt like we had the resources for a much more complex experiment. But I guess they wanted to take it slow. That's unexpectedly thoughtful of you. I was just thinking about an old holotape game that I used to play, but... Oh, they won't work on this console. Maybe I could adapt it, though. So, if you run across one later, can you let me know? I have so many questions. Just... How? Why? I was saying goodbye to everybody, and... They're really gone. I think I understand what has happened from stray broadcast, to some degree. I guess... I guess it was war, and somehow, this is the world that survived. I, I can't even put all of 
this into words right now. My memories of everything from before all of this are so fresh, just below the surface. I was just there. Roger. Stay safe out there. Oh, hey, good to see you. I suspect the owner of this beacon will come and find us. I know I would. But until then, well, I have something here that we should look into. I noticed a strange signal that was heading right for us. It seems like after the signal approached this place, it just spun around and took off. It was strange. Sudden. Think you could just sneak over there and poke your head in? If they seem problematic, maybe stop them somehow? I don't know. I... I can't tell what it's doing there exactly, but it's moving around, so... I think it's alive? Or... I guess it could be a robot. 
I noticed another USSA signal approach it a bit ago, and then they both disappeared completely for a moment, and only this one reappeared. I'm not sure what that means, but there are only a few reasons why a signal disappears. Death is one of them. Okay, just be careful. I wish I could tell what it is. It just seems so... unnatural. But what does that mean in a world like this? Listen. This could be a trap. Or it could be just a big misunderstanding. I can't really say for sure. Just be careful. It felt like nothing else. I, I remember spinning in space, eyes fixed on Earth. Unable to look away. So far away. So perfect. I'm not sure they do. We had one of those on the ship, and it landed with me. But... It wasn't aggressive. I, I don't know. But... They really aren't taking a direct line to attack me, either. Maybe... They're damaged, or have been corrupted somehow. I, I did! Last time you were gone, I went on a short stroll. Didn't go far. But... I saw some weird stuff. Just... Bizarre. Saw a giant, huge, greenish uh, man with a two headed cow. <laughs> he was selling things. Super nice fellow. He said he would stop by later. Said he hopes to check on me when he can. <laughs> I can't wait. It's such a shock, but also amazing. Affirmative. Out. Oh, I hope the scanner module you found does the trick.